Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to be telling you about the 10 best eyeshadow palettes that I have tried this year so far. So these did not necessarily come out this year, but I tried them for the first time this year. This is a combination of palettes that I bought myself on my low buy, but also some that I got in PR and also a couple that my husband had purchased for me for my birthday in January. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to share these with you. If you're interested in eyeshadow palette related videos, check out the eyeshadow palette playlist and let's get started. These palettes are gonna be in no particular order. And like I said, this is a combination of PR, things that I bought for myself and also birthday gift. So yeah, and I didn't include a couple of the palettes that I've tried recently in this running just cause I have not used them enough. For example, today I'm wearing my newest palette, the Blend Bunny Dollhouse palette. This is my first time using it. So, you know, haven't used it enough to thoroughly test it out. So these are palettes that I've used more. Alrighty, first up is this quad from ColourPop. This is one of the things I got in PR, and this is the Shore Thing quad. I love this so much. I have not been a huge eyeshadow quad person. Typically, I like more medium-sized palettes, but I love this so, so much. Pinky tones, beautiful dark brown. The shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. I wore this in a couple of videos. I'm so impressed with this little quad. They did send me some other ones in PR that I really like as well, but this is definitely my favorite. All right, let's go on to one on the opposite side of the price range, because this is only $10, and this one I bought myself. Pat McGrath, Divine Rose 2. I got this for 30% off earlier this year, and I am so glad that I bought this. It is beautiful, the pink tones, the mauve tones. I really like pink eyeshadow, as you can tell like by what I'm wearing and so far the palettes that I'm talking about. I love this color story. I do love the Pat McGrath formula and I'm really glad that I got this. It's expensive, so I'm glad that I waited for a 30% off sale and yeah, pretty thrilled about that one. Let's talk about this little one here, the Natasha Denona Mini Biba. This was a birthday gift from my husband, and this is one I asked for it for my birthday because I was like, well, I don't need this. <laughs> it's a neutral five fan, like, I won't buy it myself. But if he wants to get it for me, great. And he did, and I was so excited. And now that I've used it, I must say it is beautiful. And I do have the full size Biba. I think it's different enough from that one. And that one, I think, leans more neutral brown, whereas this pulls very peachy. There's a lot of peachy undertones. My dog is barking. I don't know what his deal is. Um, yeah, peachy undertones, really, really beautiful. This shimmer is stunning. And the reason I was also very excited about this palette is this is what happens if anyone with a dog walks past our house. He's like angry that they dare walk in front of his house. I don't know. He's a dog. <laughs> um, okay, I was so excited that this palette has a cream to powder in it. I hope she includes more cream to powder in the mini palettes because I really like that formula. I know not everyone likes it. Personally, I think it's great. I find it easy to work with, so. Yeah, this is super basic, but the quality is amazing. And you can really do some dramatic neutral looks with that or something like simple and everyday. Now, I mentioned that I love pink tones. <laughs> I had to include the ColourPop by the Rose A. This is one of the ones I got in PR as well. And it is amazing. If this palette disappeared, I would go buy it myself. I love it so much. I like pink tones and this has been a big trend this year. I'm gonna talk about some other pink toned palettes. This one is a very good price point. The quality is amazing. The shimmers are stunning. You get the depth with this gorgeous burgundy color right there. That one is so nice. This shade, one of my favorites like ever. So yeah, By the Rose is fantastic. One that I was very surprised made it to the top 10 is the BH Switzerland palette. And this I bought at Marshall's for only $8. And 
It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. The quality, fantastic. I love the color story. I like the variety in this palette, but it still makes sense as a color story. You get these beautiful mauve tones here, gorgeous greens, this yellowy mustard shade, amazing, absolutely amazing. I did film a look with this palette and that you can find in my makeup looks playlist. I'm trying to think, I've filmed looks with a couple of the other palettes. The previous ones here that I talked about, I don't think I filmed looks with, but some of the others I did. So makeup looks playlist, you can find those there. I just love this so much and I am still waiting for BH Cosmetics to come out with new palettes. They said that they were and I have not heard anything. If you have heard when those are coming out, please, please let me know um, because yeah, they were bought by Makeup Revolution and I think we're all like waiting to see is the formula still going to be good because this formula is absolutely amazing. Love it so much. Um, another one that I bought myself. I love it so much, the Odin's Eye Hella Palette. This is the collab with Angie. And I do have other Odin's Eye palettes. I really enjoy their formula. I've only tried some of their newer palettes that have this shape of pans. Some of their older palettes have the circle pans. I have not tried those, so I don't know if the formula is as good, but personally, I really love this one. The shimmers are so foiled and metallic. I do use a wet brush with the shimmers from Odin's Eye, otherwise they can be a little dry and flaky and have a lot of fallout, but with a wet brush they are amazing. And Odin's Eye has some of the best mattes that I have tried, especially for colorful mattes. They are really easy to work with. And I love the color story of like the pinks and the greens and like these purpley taupes. It's just, those are some of my favorite shades, honestly. So yeah, the Hella palette is fantastic. Next up is the What's Up Beauty Geodes palette. And this one I got in PR. This is an indie brand as well. They are based out of Arizona and they also make nail polishes and they have sent me some of their nail polishes and they are beautiful. This palette is fantastic. I really think this brand deserves more hype. They released another palette last year and I really like the, the formula is identical. I think the formula is great. I do prefer the color story to this palette. This is more up my alley because you've got the pinks and the purples here. This green is amazing. This yellow is fantastic. I did film a look with this palette and it is so pretty. The sparkle in these shades, they are stunning. So yeah, I did a whole video on this one and I'm really, really impressed. I definitely think they deserve more attention and that palette is just amazing. Alrighty, this one, Melt Gemini 2. I had to include this one in the top 10. This is the first Melt palette I've ever tried. I bought this earlier this year and I did a review and look video on it when it came out. So again, you can check that out. Amazing, wow. They are known for their matte formula and I can tell that. These mattes are smooth pigmented. They essentially blend themselves. Even these darker shades, sometimes darker mattes, can be harder to work with, but these are not. And I know that some of the Melt palettes in the past have been a miss for some people, and that's why I waited. That's why I didn't buy a Melt palette until now, because I was a little worried because some of their palettes got bad reviews, but then some got amazing reviews. So I wasn't sure, but I decided to take a chance because this color story really spoke to me. I still do think that this green shimmer is beautiful and then this burgundy shimmer is also really pretty. The mattes do stand out though. I mean, the quality of these matte eyeshadows are just amazing. So like I said, I did a full video on that one. And okay, two palettes left and I've done full videos on these two. The Sigma New Mod, this is one I bought myself and Usually with Sigma, I try to wait for a sale, but this color story just really, really attracted me. I didn't want to wait for a sale. I wanted to buy it right away, and I filmed a look with this one too when it first came out. This one, now, so I mentioned that pink tones have been a huge trend this year, which I'm loving because I love pink tones. This one I do think pulls a bit more purpley mauve. 
And I've gotten asked quite a few times what I think of this palette and compared to the Natasha Denona Retro palette, which I do have and it is amazing. And I do think that the colors are different. This one pulls a lot more purple. I did a whole video all about rose toned eyeshadow palettes. Check it out because I compare them. I compare the Melt with this one and the Natasha Denona Retro and several others. So check that video out. Personally, I think this one is a lot more purple leaning than a lot of the other ones. So it's very purpley mauve and the quality amazing. I love it. I love all my other Sigma palettes too. I think they are fantastic. So yeah, honestly, I have no regrets that I bought this right away. Didn't wait for a sale because it's just so pretty. I actually really like this packaging too. I think it's really, really cute and pretty color. Alrighty, and last up, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. I don't own the first one. Um, that one is very neutral, and I kind of figured at the time it came out, I had a lot of neutral palettes, and I just wasn't as attracted to it. This one caught my eye because it's got more of those pink tones. Like I said, I'm really into those. So yeah, I did a video on this one as well, and I do really like it. I mentioned I did another video a couple months ago that was my top 10 purchases on my low buy this year. And a couple of these palettes did make it into that video. Like I said, some of these palettes were PR, so I did not include them in that video because that was just stuff I bought myself. And I said that this one almost made it to that top 10, but it didn't. Um, but that was purchases overall, so that was including like blush foundations and all of that. So I would have put this, I think, as number 11 on my best purchases of the year because I really do love this. Um, the mattes are so easy to work with. The sparkle on these shimmers is really, really nice. I've noticed this is a palette that when I wear this in real life that uh, like out and about in the world, you know what I mean? People like compliment my eyeshadow, like random people are like, oh wow, your eyeshadow looks really nice, which does not happen to me a lot. So when it does happen, I'm like, oh, okay. And it happens when I wear this palette. So yeah, I think it is beautiful. This is definitely more on the expensive side. This one is $68. I did end up getting this at the Sephora VIB sale in the spring, so I did get 20% off. And without the 20% off, I, I do think it's expensive, and I do like the cream shadows in there, but I don't know. I do think that it's, it's a little overpriced. I feel like $55 might be more reasonable, um, you know, but who am I to tell people what to charge? But. I was happy that I got it during the VIB sale. Alrighty, that is it for this video. These are the 10 best palettes I have tried so far this year, and I'm pretty excited. These palettes are amazing, but I'm also excited to further test out like the Blend Bunny palette, which I'm wearing today for the first time. And I just did a look earlier this week on a different palette that I got. Um, from Unearthly Cosmetics. And that was a first impression, and just based off the first impression, it was amazing. But again, I need to test it out more. But I really liked the look. So yeah, you can check that out if you are interested. Let us know what are the best palettes that you have tried this year or in general. And yeah, that is it for this video. So check out the eyeshadow palette playlist because I have a ton of eyeshadow palette related videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.